but it was Kofu who won, so we'll be watching them in the next round against V Baron Nagasaki. The game will be either here in Kofu or in Nagasaki. Okay, welcome to Nagasaki. We're here for the quarterfinals of the Emperor's Cup. This is the continuation of a journey that began back in May when I went to Shimane Prefecture. We're now, yep, in the last eight, and it's Viva and Nagasaki against Venfure Kofu in a, yeah, an all J2 clash. This is two second division teams playing, uh, facing each other for a place in the semi-finals. But that game is tomorrow night, about 24 hours away. So first, let's take a look around Nagasaki because it's really an incredible place. Nagasaki also has a tragic history. It's one of the 26 martyrs of Japan to the events of August 9th, 1945. The atomic bomb destroyed the city and killed 35,000 people. Reminders can still be seen today. You can read more about Nagasaki in the link in the description. Okay, welcome to Trans Cosmos Stadium for the quarterfinals of the Emperor's Cup. This is a journey that began way back um, in May. Was it May? Yeah, it was May. In uh, Shimane Prefecture. We followed the winner from each round and tonight it's brought us all the way here to Nagasaki where it is absolutely pouring down. So I don't know what it's going to be like. It's going to be a tough one for the players. This game is an all J2 quarterfinal. So this is two second division teams, which means we're going to have a second division team in the semi-finals of the Emperor's Cup. The last uh, second division team to make the final was Kyoto Sanga. Um, I can't remember the year, I think it was um, maybe about 10 years ago. I'll, I'll, ch I'll check that and put it on the screen. But um, yeah, it's going to be a tough one for the players. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, Venfrey Kofu are doing quite well this season, they're pushing for the playoffs. Viva and Nagasaki are about mid-table, so if you're thinking about teams that have something to play for tonight, Kofu have more to play for in the league than Nagasaki, which might uh, mean Nagasaki take it more seriously. But yeah, let's see what happens. Um, it's going to be really good, I think. But the weather will play a part because it's been raining so heavily. Oh, and I'm uh, sitting with the Venfrey Kofu fans tonight because um, in the previous round we saw them beat Hosei University. Kofu is really far from Nagasaki, um, so there aren't too many here tonight, but the ones that have made it, they're good fans, they're really hardcore.
Kiva and Nagasaki lead 2-1 against Benfrey Corfu. Uh, Nagasaki were 2 0 up inside 15 minutes. They looked really good. They looked like they were going to run away with the game. But uh, Corfu came back into it. They were, I think, much stronger towards the end of the half. But um, I think, as you can hear in the video, the Corfu fans are really loud. I'm, I'm very impressed. Considering there's not many here, there's maybe about, I'd say, 200 Corfu fans, but they're, they're very loud. Nagasaki are into the Empress Cup semi-finals. Uh, they hung on to win 2-1. It was pretty close at the end. There was a lot of pressure from Kofu. In the next round, in the semi-finals, Divao and Nagasaki will play Kashima Handlers, who are one of the best teams in Japan. Currently, I think, second in J1. So it's going to be a big test to see if uh, Nagasaki can go to the final. But they've done really well to get this far. So let's see what happens. It's going to be incredible, I think, in the next round. But the next round's not until December the 21st, I think, so we've got a bit of a wait. But I'm really looking forward to it. This has been a fantastic uh, experience, and I can't wait for the next round. And I want to say commiserations to the Bentway Corfu fans. They were very loud. I can't really hear properly at the moment because they were drumming quite a lot. And they made a really good effort to get here tonight. It's over 1,100 kilometers from Corfu to Nagasaki. And yeah, they really supported us team well. And I'm disappointed for them that they couldn't go through, but 
the Nagasaki fans were absolutely delighted. You could hear them. There's still quite a few of them there now, and they were singing very loud as well. So an update on the venue for the semi-final. It's been announced that it's going to be Kashima Antlers against Viva and Nagasaki at Kashima Soccer Stadium in Ibaraki Prefecture. Um, Kashima Soccer Stadium is one of the best football grounds in Japan. I went there last year for a J1 game. It's very awkward to get to. It's a little bit in the middle of nowhere. It does look somewhat like a spaceship that's crashed into a forest, but it's an incredible uh, venue. So that's going to be amazing on December 21st, the semi-final between uh, yep, Antlers and uh, Nagasaki. Of course, I'll be sitting with the Viva and Nagasaki fans uh, because we're in this series, Road to the Final. I'm following the winner from each round. So this journey began way back in May, as I mentioned earlier, when I went to watch Matsue City against Kamatamare Sunuki. I followed the Kamatamare fans to Gamba Osaka. They lost to Gamba. Followed the Gamba fans to Hosei University's game at Hachinomoto Field, Nishigaoka. Gamba lost to Hosei. Followed Hosei to uh, Kofu, where they lost to Vanfrey Kofu. And then we followed Vanfrey Kofu to Nagasaki, where they lost to Nagasaki. So if this pattern holds, this means that we're going to see Antlers beat Nagasaki. And I just want to say I've got nothing against Antlers. I think they're an amazing team. They've won everything you can imagine in Japanese football. They're a winning machine. But um, I really would love to see Nagasaki reach the final, to see a J2 team get to the Empress Cup final, the first Empress Cup final at the new national stadium. That would be something else. So that's going to be on December 21st, the semi-final. So please uh, subscribe if you're not doing so already, and you will see that uh, semi-final experience on this channel. And also, we've got many more ground-hopping videos coming up before now and the end of the season. And um, the final of the Empress Cup will be uh, in the other semi-final, it's uh, Shimizu Esports versus Vissel Kobe. So on January the 1st, the final is going to be either Vissel Kobe or Shimizu Esports against Kashima Handlers or Viva Nagasaki. And you will see that here. So thank you very much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate the support. And I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much. See you next time.